Schmig. It's Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors, the luxury car center of the universe. CBS is carrying the Super Bowl next year. And Les Moonves says he is confident that he is going to get $6 million a spot. We're talking 30-second commercials What was here. it this year? Four and a half? Yes. Yeah, four okay. and a half. Mm-hmm. And NBC said they could have gotten more, but I don't <laughs> understand why they didn't exactly ask for more. We're stupid. <laughs> but, you know, year after year, Super Bowl just has record ratings. Same can't be said for the Grammys, down 13% compared to last year. No coincidence that 13 is Taylor Swift's lucky number. Should have had her perform, in my opinion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So next year, a Taylor Swift performance and a Beck and Beyonce collabo, I think, will put the Grammys over the top. Somebody decided, after all the Grammys controversy surrounding album of the year, to mash up Beyonce's single ladies and Beck's loser to make single Single loser. loser. You know, there are a lot of people that have a lot of free time. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you notice that? <laughs> uh, and someday they will use their powers for good. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Jill Devine posted on Facebook yesterday, tonight is a girls' night out to see a certain movie that everybody is talking about. Oh, man. It's, uh, uh. I can't remember the name of it. What is it? Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Oh, no, that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, the first one is spectacular. It, is. it really it is. Good. This one does not have John Cusack in it, though. See, John Cusack wasn't that important. Oh, I mean, so... he really wasn't. But the 80s was so fun to watch. Yeah. But the first one I loved. Well, that one comes out next weekend. This weekend, The Kingsman, The Secret Service, and, of course, Jill was talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. Seth Meyers joking about it last night on his show. Listen to this. The New York Times review of Fifty Shades of Grey reveals that after the final scene of a preview screening, much of the audience burst out laughing. (laughs) So it sounds like Christian Grey and I have a similar effect on the ladies. (laughs) (laughs) This movie, I'm just warning you, I know if you are a fan of the book, you're going to see it regardless. It's getting terrible reviews. In fact, one broadcaster in Australia, this is this video has gone viral. She said it's the worst movie she's ever seen. Another reviewer said 50... Oh, she didn't see... Uh, what was that one? Uh, no, 41. Oh, 41. 41. 51. Probably not. <laughs> it's one of the only movies I walked out on. Wow. One of the only. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else posted an article, 50 Problems with 50 Shades of Grey. I mean, a lot of people are dissing this movie. Um, and some people... Well, some people started dissing Jill <laughs> Got a little upset. Yeah, it's a very, uh, there's a polar effect. Polar. Um, a polarizing. Yeah, yeah that's right. polarizing yeah. effect on this movie. Some people think it's disgusting. Yeah, someone said, awful book. I can only imagine how awful the movie will be. Not if you're a fan of the Eng- English language, don't pick up this book. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a fan of the English language. If you're a fan of words making yeah. sense. Justin Bieber and Will Smith's son. Punk asses in the news. Justin Bieber, okay, supposed to be down in Miami for um, uh, like a trial next month. It's all stemming from this 2013 incident where he allegedly roughed up this photographer, Jeffrey Binion. So he's supposed to be in Miami for the hearing. Justin is saying, this is why I can't go. It'll cost him over $68,000 to fly him and his whole entourage on a private jet. I wish I were the judge in this oh, case. Oh, man. I wish I were the judge. Uh. So you get your ass into a coach seat on a commercial flight, and you fly your butt down here. And if you don't, I will hold you in contempt, and you will go to prison. I'll already make the ruling. You right. have to right. pay him whatever he wants. And I mm-hmm. thought this was going to be a kinder, gentler Justin, you know, here. And I guess nah, he's right. an idiot. Right. He turned 21, and he's learning from his mistakes. Uh-uh. Huh. Give him the dolphin. <laughs> Will Smith, in a new interview for Esquire magazine, he's worth about $220 million, by the way, talking about his kids and how they're not spoiled. And we had that weird Jaden and Willow Smith interview about how they're talking about 
They're I, straight. They don't yeah. even know what mm-hmm. they're talking about, so I'm not even going to explain it. it. Will said, Jaden, my 16-year-old, he has one pair of shoes. He has three pair of pants, and he has five shirts total. He's refused to be a slave to money, so I respect that. But I would like him to get another pair of shoes. Well, you forget that we have social media, and Jaden has an Instagram account. If you look at January 19th and January 23rd, you'll notice he took a picture of his feet, and he's wearing two different pairs of shoes. <laughs> so We caught him. <laughs> and plenty of different shirts. And there was another article. He talked to New York Magazine back in 2013 talking about how he's tried to educate his kids about money and it's funny because they went in opposite directions Jaden's really the only only one of my kids that has a little bit of taste for um and then Jaden interrupts I like Cartier well that's a little new and then Jaden says the Cartier Jimmy is- Cartier <laughs> <laughs> president back in the 70s the Cartier is new but before that it was Louis Will's like yeah he has a little bit of taste for the finer things. You need to go back and read your own interview. Yes. Yes. What's wrong with you? Keep track of your oh, lies. Uh, that's entertainment schmig. We're going to sick Brian Williams on him. <laughs> More at 840 and online at y98.com. He launched their careers. <laughs>